And I just wanted to change it up a little bit. I definitely wanted to see some of the overseas guys. I uh, wasn't able to get all the guys that I wanted from overseas, but my idea is just to see as much players as possible so I can see the talent-wise where we are as a player and then what can they help to do, what can they help, how can they help to make sure that we have a successful team and a great team going forward. I think that's the biggest question right now in terms of my mind is can we gel within the next 48 hours because we're only going to allow ourselves to practice. By the time we get to Curacao, we're only going to have two sessions with the entire squad. So the chemistry and the unity, that's probably the biggest question, trying to figure out who plays with and who does what and the strengths and weaknesses and making sure that we all focus and we all trying to go to, we all go to the same task and the same goal, which is trying to win the game against Curacao. But the biggest thing I think right now is just trying to find that, chemis that chemistry and unity of togetherness. That was not my choice. The emphasis placed on local base players was not really my choice. I wanted more overseas players, but unfortunately, circumstance didn't work out the way it did. But the local guys have been coming to training every day, working hard, and they deserve the opportunity to go out there and represent the country. But going forward, um, are we going to see more international players being added onto the squad, or are we going to do like the Jamaicans and probably go all um, home players? Uh, that was that's the plan. The plan is to see each and every Grenadian player out there wherever he is and bring them in at some point to get a look at them. But it didn't work out the way I wanted to in terms of my selection process. But I have a good group of guys now. I'm very excited about the challenge and I'm looking forward to it eventually when we get to Curacao. I don't think it's lingering at all. If it's lingering, it would be with me. I'm the only one that I told them about it. The way I want to play, the formation, the system, the style of soccer I want to play is very expensive and it's costly when we don't do the things which I expect them to do. So in terms of that Jamaica game, I think it's all forgotten and behind us now. We're just looking forward to this game against Curso. And the players' mentality are very strong. That's probably one of the things I've learned since I've been back here that the players and uh, just people in general on this island, they have a very strong mental capacity to take a lot of stuff. So the players have been able to deal with that situation and they come to practice each and every day and they've been working hard and praise due to them. So what's the mood like in the camp? Uh, frustration, but exciting. Uh, two opposite ends of the, the spectrum. They're excited for the game to come and frustrated with the off the field issues, but that's part of being a that's part of being a, a player. That's part of being playing for Grenada and things yeah, like that you have to deal with. But like I said, we all excited for this opportunity to go out there and represent our country.